Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Gurus, and today I have a tech tip for you on servicing the braking systems on 2021 to 2023 GM and Chevrolet trucks and SUVs. Okay, a couple things you need to be aware of uh, before performing brake work on any vehicle. Uh, make sure you're paying attention to your service information. Uh, these things are changing very, very quickly, and the service procedures are changing very, very quickly as well. So particular to these 21 to 23 so far, uh, GM and Chevrolet trucks and SUVs is they are gonna want you to disconnect the negative battery cable. Now on this vehicle behind me, we're gonna do front and rear brakes on it. So the first thing we actually have to do is put the parking brake into service mode before we can disconnect that battery. So let's get over here in the vehicle and actually put it into service mode through the vehicle itself. All right, first thing we have to do is get the ignition turned on without the engine started. So no foot on the brake, just press and hold the start stop button about eight to 10 seconds. There we go, we're keyed up. Next step is to actually release the parking brake. So we're gonna put our foot on the brake, press the park brake pedal, or button, excuse me. Now it says release. Now we'll leave our foot on the brake. We're gonna press and hold the park brake button somewhere between 10, 15, 20 seconds. Just hold it until you see the park brake indicator, yellow bulb, as well as the little wrench beneath it begin to flash right there in the center. There it goes, we'll release the brake, release the switch, and then press and release the park brake switch within five seconds. And you can hear the park brake motors running, moving it into service mode. All right, let's go take a look at another way to put this vehicle's parking brake into service mode using the Alto. All right, we've got our VCMI connected to our Yukon behind me. Uh, so let's go ahead and use this Alto scan tool uh, to put the bar parking brake into service mode. Uh, so we've already got this thing specified. I'm in the control unit menu. I'm gonna hit brake system control module. I'm gonna hit active tests. And you see right here, activate rear park brake service position. So we'll click on that. And it says it's gonna put it into service mode. We'll hit continue. And you hear those electronic park brake motors running and they are backing out completely so that now, once this is done, now we're, we're able to go and do our uh, service work on the brakes on this vehicle. But before we do that, let's look at one more way uh, that we can put this thing into uh, service mode so we can work on the brake system. All right, so now let's look at this new tool by Top Don called the Top Scan. Uh, and we'll actually use this tool uh, to put this vehicle's parking brake into service mode. So let me go get it plugged in and we'll get started. All right, so I've got the uh, top scan VCI plugged into the vehicle uh, and now we'll just use the cell phone app here. Uh, so you see I've already got GM installed. I'll go ahead and click on that. It's gonna communicate. We're gonna go ahead and click automatic selection. Yes, the ignition is on, we'll confirm that. It's gonna establish communication with the vehicle here, it takes just a second. All right, there's our VIN number, we'll confirm it. I do know that's correct. So there we go, our 21 Yukon XL. We'll click OK. Now we're gonna go into control unit. We'll go into the brake system control module. We're gonna go into our control functions. And then right here we see in the bottom left, you see activate rear park brake service position. So we'll click on that. Until it's ignition on, engine not running and vehicle in the park, which we know uh, that is how we have this vehicle set. So we'll hit continue. We hear those electronic park brake motors run. We know it's actually going into service mode. And as soon as this procedure is complete, uh, it says right here on our tool that it is completed. Now we're safe and we can actually go and do the brake job on this vehicle. All right, so there's three different ways to go about putting this parking brake system into service mode. So no matter which one that you choose, uh, it's just imperative uh, that that system be put into service mode. Otherwise you can cause damage to the rear calipers uh, when you try to depress those pistons in. All right, so now that this vehicle is in service mode, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the brake service on it. There is another step in the service information that you must follow. Uh, the next step since this is done, it's in service mode, is to actually disconnect the negative battery cable. So we're gonna disconnect the negative battery cable. We're gonna do our service work on the braking system on this vehicle. Then we'll come back and we'll reactivate this parking brake system and actually let it calibrate. 
All right, so we've got our brake parts replaced on our Yukon here. Uh, so the next step we'll take is to get in here and we will reconnect our negative battery cable and then we'll meet you inside and we will reactivate or take this thing out of parking brake service mode inside the vehicle. All right, now to put it back into normal driving mode, same thing, we're no foot on the brake, we'll press and hold the start stop button for about 10 seconds. Now we're key on, engine off, put our foot on the brake, we'll press and hold the park brake button again, somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds until our flashing park brake indicator stops. Then you can let it go. And you are now back in normal mode and the car is ready to go. All right, now let's take a look at taking this thing out of service mode using the Alltel. All right, so I'm already got it specified. The VCMI is plugged in. All right, I'm going to go into the brake system control module again. This time I'm going to go into special functions. And now I'm going to go into park brake calibration. So I'll click on that one. And the ignition is on. Vehicle's not running. We're in park. We're good there. We'll hit continue. And you can hear those electronic motors running. They'll run in and out several times. All right, so you hear it run in and out several times, just like it did uh, when we did it through the vehicle itself, and it's just setting that air gap for the parking brake itself. So let's take a look at how to do it with the top down. All right, so let's go ahead and take this thing out of service mode, or the parking brake out of service mode, using the top down top scan. So I've already got the VCI plugged in to the OBD2 port. I'm gonna go ahead and click on GM again. And we'll go into automatic selection. Ignition is on, we'll confirm. It'll take just a second here. There's our VIN number. We'll go ahead and confirm that as well. There it is, 21 Yukon XL. We'll hit OK. We're going to go into our control unit, our brake system control module. Now we're going to go into configuration slash reset functions. Now we'll go into park brake calibration. And ignition's on. Engine's not running. Vehicle's in park. We're good with there. Hit continue. And you can hear those motors again, same thing as we did with the Alltel or doing it through the vehicle, runs in and out several times, setting that air gap for the parking brake. Now it says procedure complete. This thing is good to go. We go for a test drive. We return the vehicle back to the customer. If you enjoyed this tech tip, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want to make sure you don't miss any more Garage Guru Tech Tip videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And for more information about the Garage Gurus, check us out at garagegurus.tech. Thank you.